Hey guys, this is Steven once again and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. If you are looking to want the information about keto, I am not a doctor though, but I have gone through the ketogenic diet. I lost 40 plus, uh, no, 30 plus pounds, I'm sorry, 30 plus pounds in the course of my my nine months in ketogenic diet and i'm just sharing everything that i've learned okay so if you are interested to know what goodie i'm going to eat today for day two please stay tuned yes and i'm back and this is ketogenic diet for Filipinos. But if you are not a Filipino, it's okay. Or maybe you're a Filipino living outside of the Philippines. I know that it's a struggle to be in keto because our palate just, you know, cries or screams carbs and rice especially. And as Filipinos, that it's a staple diet for us, a staple food for us. But again, if you are going through a ketogenic diet or you're trying to be in keto, we know, you know, no matter how much you your brain tells you that it's okay, you know that it's not okay to eat rice, right? So that's why in the course of this 25 days for the Vlogmas for 2019, I am sharing with you another goodie for day two. By the way, if you want to comment, please comment below. What else do you want to see in this channel? What um, information do you want to know more about? And if you are a subscriber to this channel or you are a frequent visitor to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? This is just a community. And if you want to help others, maybe you are in keto, maybe you have been in keto, maybe you tried keto, and maybe you have interesting facts or information that you want to share, please, there are questions down in the comment section below. You might want to jump in, chime in, and help other people, okay? Because I might not be able to answer all questions right away, although I really do read all the comments in the comment section below. Anyway, if you also want to share this, please share this with people who might be interested to go on a ketogenic diet. But enough of that. Now I'm going to share with you this, this product, and that is the Greek yogurt. I got this off of Landers, and there are two of them <laughs> supposed to be in one pack of this, but my wife already, you know, we share. So she was interested to take to taste the Greek yogurt, Greek style yogurt, all natural yogurt, because as you know, my son and my wife and even myself in, in the past have tried yogurt, like quote unquote yogurt, but they are flavored yogurt. They are very sweet yogurt. Okay, so this is the farmer's their farmers union greek style all natural yogurt and it's so simple so natural and if you it is a so good source of protein you could get the goodness of calcium no preservatives naturally thick and creamy yes i've already tried this but i want to show you how it tastes and how it looks gluten and gelatin free no artificial flavors or colors and this is imported from the australian peninsula or in australian country or from australia what am i saying anyway so if you look at this maybe you wanna you want it you want to try and pause that for a while there you can get the nutritional value or information you will see that carbs for 100 grams and each serving each whole thing each cup is 140 grams so they said that if you want to eat the whole thing you will have 7.3 grams of carbs of which 7.3 grams of sugar is the content of the carbs okay so yeah if i know it's 7.3 grams but again in ketogenic diet uh, most generally it's it's 50 grams of carbs total carbs total net carbs and yeah 7.3 per day you get this per day not twice a day per day it's really a lot though so it is really a good source of snacking and low carb and keto friendly snack but yeah all natural you go to the ingredients all natural ingredients milk milk solids cream yogurt cultures thermophilus bulgaricus all that stuff so this is it about the car a fat 
for the whole thing, it's 13.6 grams of fat. And for protein, it has 6.7 grams of protein, which is good amount of protein. And the calcium is 227 milligrams of calcium. This is a really good source of calcium. And the sodium is 80 milligrams of sodium, which is an, an electrolyte, right? So you want that. So here it is. Here's the box. It comes in twos, uh, made with just milk, cream, and cultures. Enough about the information. I want you now to see how this this looks. It's like this white cup, and up there is like a I don't know what this material is, but it's really like a foil, a hard foil, and it's sealed. It's sealed over here, and uh, you get the best before seal there. Okay. So you want to open it. Let's open it. Let's try it though. So here it is. I don't know if you can see it. It is really sealed, guys. Let me just... There. Ooh. Can you see it? Wow. Mm. So here's how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. There. It doesn't have a, like a seal of top. It's just how it is because it's frozen or it's chilled. So if you if you just tap a little bit, so it just see it goes down. And you know Pinoy's diva, so it's may mga ganyan siya. So I'd like to lick it. Smell smell. Wow, that is yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Okay, so you must smell it. Wanna smell it? And guys, I can't, I have to lick this, you know. Mmm. So that, that's how Greek yogurt tastes like. I'll, I'll have, I want to have more before I really give you. So, you see that? I want to mix it a bit. Actually, the interior of it is kind of, it, it looks like, it looks like this, you guys. See? It's viscous and creamy. It's not that hard. It's not, it doesn't become like a solid, like really, really solid. So that's how it is. And again, you can take this in one go. I suggest you take this in one go, like once a day or thrice a week. Let's taste this now, okay? Here it is. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Mm. Wow. It's not sweet. It is sour as Greek, I mean, as yogurt should be. Mm. This is not like your other brands of yogurt that are commercially, I mean, that are advertised in TV because th those have a lot of sugar. And I don't know what the ingredients are. Mmm. Wow. If you are in keto, you will get used to this. Because keto has like an acquired taste. If you were to transition from regular eating to keto, you will not get used to this yet. You will not have this acquired taste of not being sweet. Because it's not sweet. It's even sour. But because it's creamy. Mmm. Mmm. It's similar to heavy cream or even whipping cream, which as keto dieters, you usually have, right? In your coffee or in anything. Mmm. I love it. So I've been waiting to make this video. And yeah, I love it. Mmm. <laughs> Mustache. Anyway, so again, if you want to check I'm here in front of my laptop. So just a few information about yogurt. So yogurt is a dairy product made by fermenting milk with a yogurt culture. It provides protein. As I said, this has 6.3 grams of protein and calcium. And it may enhance healthy gut bacteria. Okay, so that is yogurt. If you want to see the, I already searched the carb content of yogurt. So generally, 
if you have 100 grams of Greek non-fat yogurt, you will get 3.6 grams of carbohydrates. And maybe this is really the pure, without any sugar whatsoever. But since this has sugar, that's why for 140 grams, it has 7 point plus grams of, of net carbs. And yeah, for low carb dairy, this is a low carb dairy, go for Greek yogurt, which has a higher protein content compared to regular yogurt. I'm just reading off of Google, guys. One six ounce container offers 17 grams of protein and only six grams of carbs. Plus, it's a good source of bone maintaining calcium. It's a low carb choice only if you go plain, though. Again, go plain, go Greek yogurt style. Don't, if you are on keto, don't go for the Pasqual, whatever, with flavors, with strawberry and mango. Those are not the natural tastes or state of yogurts. Yogurts are sour like this, okay? Mm. And I wasn't able to show you when we went to Boracay. I don't know if that was Greek yogurt, but it was similar to this. It was more milky and liquidy, but it really tasted like this. It wasn't sweet. Mm. So there you go, guys. You should try this, okay? You should try this this Christmas. And like I said, being in keto is not really that boring. Although if you want to really stick to keto and really transition to keto, the first weeks or first months of transitioning from regular eating to keto is very, very boring. It can be boring, but again, if you have hit keto for quite some time, you can break your keto and then go back to keto again or maybe go for intermittent fasting and then just, you know, goodies like this. I know in the stores, the two of them cost one one pack, like two, one forty nine fifty pesos. So roughly, it is one piece is seventy pesos. But again, this is this is a good source of calcium and sodium and protein and low carb, and it's a different taste and it's healthy. Hmm? Okay, so guys, I'm gonna finish this video. It's over eleven minutes now. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow for the next vlogmas. Again, subscribe if wala pa ka subscribe and comment below. What do you think? Have you tried this yogurt or have you tried something else? Please let us know so that I'll be able to try or the others will be able to try it. And please also tell us where you've bought this. I bought this in Landers, $149.50 for the two piece already, okay? So see you tomorrow. For the next vlogmas, I hope you get the life that you want and I hope you get the health that you deserve. Stay keto Filipino! Bye-bye!